Hi on MPI brought to you by DigiKey and Ada for every week. Lady Ada looks at the latest, newest, New York's hottest club is Omega. We've got chips. We've got chips that are dips. We've got chips and dip. Well, Omega, they actually make temperature sensors. We've got hot chips. Yeah. We've got cold chips. They've got, yeah. They're they're really, they're, I mean, they're, they're known for many things, but one of the things that Omega specifically is known for is their thermocouples. And uh, this week's item PI is their SA1 series of fast response thermocouples with adhesive banking. Um, what I liked about this is it solved a problem that I've had many times, which is I'm measuring something with a thermocouple and I have to attach it to something. And it's like really hard to do that because um, thermocouples are made with two wires. Um, they're like high temperature wires and they have a really cool property called the Seebeck effect, Whoa. where when you heat up the joint of where those wires touch, they create a very small millivolt differential signal that you can then measure. And that signal um, increases with temperature so you can easily back correlate that to find out what the temperature is at the hot end of the thermocouple. Very handy. Um, so they tend to come with two wires uh, and sheathed in you know, some fiberglass or some temperature resistant plastic. Um, and then you know this end is the temperature, um, sorry, the voltage measuring end. So you connect this to your thermocouple sensor or your multimeter, whatever. And the other end has this, uh, this is like a, a zoom in version. It has a little welded ball tip at the end there. You see that on the right. So that's where the, um, the temperature is measured. Um, but the problem is that if you think about it, like it's like this little point, right? So it's like very hard to attach to something. Um, you can get uh, temperature sensors that come with probes. And these are good for, like these are actually um, often put in tanks and stuff to measure. Um, you know, food or medicine or chemical processes, you want to make sure that everything's happening at the right temperature. Um, but it's like, if you want to measure the surface temperature of plate or a pipe or a tree, I don't know, uh, these are both very hard to attach. So tree. what's nice, maybe it's a very smooth tree. So mm -hmm. in this case, um, the SA1 series comes with a um, pad, you see the bottom, made out of fiberglass, a polyamide, which is also known as Kapton, and a silicon pol polymer glue. And you can attach it, you know, at least once. They say, you know, it's not meant to be reused, but you can kind of sort of like remove it if you want to and try to reattach it. The glue won't be as good the second time. And um, the sensor is embedded inside and the pad is thermally conductive. So you don't have to worry, you know, it attaches very cleanly. And then you're measuring right at the surface without having to come up with some weird ass, like, fixture clip. Not weird as fixture clips. <laughs> um, there's a couple different varieties of thermocouples available. The ones that Digi has in stock right now are the K-type. Um, those are the two at the top. One of them uh, comes with a um, kind of standard thermocouple um, clip, uh, which I'll show in a second. And the other one has bare wires. The type that's available is K-type, which is also kind of the most popular thermocouple. Um, works at a wide temperature range. Um, almost every um, measurement device that takes thermocouples will use K-type uh, K thermocouple. However, K -tuple. You, however, there's other uh, varieties available um, that you can special order through DigiKey, J, T, and N. Um, for the most part, well, I think most people are going to be happy with K, but if you happen to have, again, a sensor that's calibrated for J, or T, or N, and you need to plug into that, um, ask DigiKey and they'll order the special version. All right. I am impressed. I, so this is one of the reasons why Lady Ada does these. Is there some tongue twisters in here? And I don't actually know how you got through that. Good work. I do. I know thermocouples. <laughs> Jeez. I know thermocouples. So okay. The, did you know it's patented? In, this, this is patented. So this yeah. is actually interesting. So this is, it looks like a standard. So when I clicked on the data sheet for the one that they have the most in stock, and it had, again, it has this two-prong connector, which if you have like a multimeter or a thermocouple meter, this is very familiar I don't yeah. know the name of this type of connector, but it's the thermocouple connector. Chat, standard. you know what to do, chat. So um, this connector has uh, ferrite beads inside of it. So I guess that makes it a little bit more immune to EMI or interference. Mm. Um, yes, I guess this is patented. So that's what comes in one of the versions. And the other versions come with bare wire. And some of them come with this kind of um, cool spool connector. So it's like it's got the connector and then a meter or two um, of wire is spooled around it. And so you don't have this like long ass wire that you can chip over or like accidentally choke yourself or something. Oh, yeah. um, so check the part number on the right to tell you 
what the length of it is because some of them are one meter and some are two meter. All right. And then, of course, um, as we mentioned before, the thermocouple is made with two wires and a weld in the center. So to measure that millivolts, you need to have something that can convert that millivolt back to temperature. So don't forget, uh, you'll need something. This is the table. Now, if you have a very good ADC, you could just put this table into your code and do the conversion yourself. But there are also a lot of chips and sensors, the chips, uh, either um, like USB data loggers available from Omega or a DigiKey just th search for thermocouple and select a semiconductor. And there's tons of chips available from like a wide range of companies from like analog to TI to Maxim to whatever. You can DIY slash roll your own KTEP thermocouple reader, but you can't just plug this directly into your microtool. You do need something that takes that millivolt and converts it to this temperature according to the table. If you want uh, to get yourself in a sticky situation with a thermocouple, these are in stock right now at DigiKey. They've got lots. Um, Omega is known as the best quality thermocouples. They're kind of famous for it. So if you're doing temperature control, you want something good and reliable, something you can stick onto a surface, uh, check out the SA1 series from Omega and DigiKey. I'm sorry, everyone. We're in a pile of boxes because we moved. So I just had to pick up something. I'm sorry about that. It's okay. I think I just bumped the microphone. Okay. okay. It was really loud, I think, maybe. Someone will tell me if it was. Or I might have got lucky. Maybe it was your Yelp <laughs> of excitement over I the have... SA1 thermocouple series from Omega. Yeah. Luna, uh, shut up, Tribble. Anyways. Uh, so that's this week's INMPI. Hi, INMPI.